Hello everyone, my name is Lakshmi Sarvani. I'm working as assistant professor in Department of Computer Science, Koneru Lakshmi Education Foundation. Today I'm going to present my paper titled Facial Expression Classification Using Vanilla Convolution Neural Networks. Uh, facial expression recognition. Uh, we, uh, emotions are mostly expressed uh, through facial expressions. Emotions play an important role in humans' everyday activities such as communication. So when we are communicating with other people, we will definitely look at the expression of the person and change our response or the way we respond according to the emotional state of the person. Uh, this is an effective communication that we do automatically uh, as a human beings. But if uh, uh, also in a classroom, if I if you want, you can see from the facial expression of the student whether the student is paying attention or pay or is easy learning or easy in a pleasant state or not. Uh, not only uh, uh, like the emotion plays a very important role, especially the emotional state of a driver. If he if the driver is angry sad or agitated then it is more likely that the driver will definitely uh, uh, going to crash or make an accident so emotion recognition plays an important role uh, so i have taken the topic of facial expression recognition as i already told emotion recognition emotion can is very well depicted by facial expression emotion is actually depicted by facial expressions the uh, so I'm going to uh, detect the emotion by convolution neural networks. The steps in detecting the emotion of a person uh, automatically by the system are data pre-processing, CNN model building, training the model and we are testing the model how the model is performing. Coming to data pre-processing, I have taken two data sets. One is Japanese female facial expression data set and the other, other data set I have taken is extended Cohen Kennedy that is CKPS data set. Uh, I have uh, collect the images are uh, put up in such a way all the angry images are put up in one folder and the, all the uh, disgust images are put up in one folder as you can see in this table there are 30 angry images and 29 disgust images and so on and uh, I have normalized the images such that the pixel values are between 0 to 1. Same uh, and uh, I have taken 85% of the Japanese female facial expression data set for training my model and 15% for testing my model. Similar, uh, similar data pre-processing is done on CK plus data set uh, but here in the CK plus data set the expressions are different than the expressions that I had in Jeffy data set. Here we have an extra expression called contempt. Similarly, just like Jeffy uh, data set, 85% of the CKPS data set is used for uh, training my convolution neural network and remaining 15% is used for testing my CNN model. Uh, coming to convolution neural networks, as, uh, as I, uh, uh, these uh, convolution neural networks have the capability of uh, extracting the features automatically, the most distinguishable features automatically, which is the may, most crucial part in facial expression recognition. It is very difficult to extract the extract robust features that can distinguish the different emotions uh, or uh, able to classify the emotions clearly. Uh, so coming to the convolution neural network, the first layer in any convolution neural network is convolution layer. What is convolution means a filter or a kernel is, uh, uh, is slided over the image. Just you can see this orange color is sliding over the uh, image. So this green pixels are the pixel intensities of my image and this orange that is sliding is my filter. So when I'm applying the filter, the filter as you can see it is in red that is 1, 0 and the values, the values of the filter are 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1 as you can see in the image. 
okay so the filter is applied on the image is nothing but that is called as convolute convolved convolved means the filter is applied on the image how do you convolve the image convolved a filter is you can do multi element wise multiplication and whatever result you get is uh, kept as a different uh, as the uh, output that is what you get as an output after convolution that is running the filter over the input image after getting the convolved feature i will be applying uh, activation function why i will be uh, applying activation function is active activation function will make the relationship between the input and output non linear then why we need to make the relationship between input and output non linear is complex relationships can only be modeled using non linear functions not but not by linear functions so we are uh, we are making the relationship non linear so that they can represent the complex relationship between the input and output here i am using 5 cross 5 filters not uh, but as in the gif it is only a 3 cross 3 filter after applying relu activation function on the convolution layer i will be applying max pooling what is max pooling means a filter of 2 cross 2 is moved across the matrix and for each position the maximum value is taken and put in the corresponding position of the output as you can see the blue filter that is sliding over the image uh, here here in the to cross to blue area that is covered by the filter the maximum pixel value here in the 4613 the maximum pixel value is 66 6 is taken and replaced here so if you have an input of size 4 cross 4 after applying max pooling uh, the input image will be reduced to 2 cross 2 so after the convolution layer and relu max pooling layer i'll be applying flattening in flattening uh, the output of the convolution layer is flattened to get a one dimensional array as you can see in the figure here the two dimensional array uh, 7592 is converted into a one dimensional array 7592 okay and uh, coming to the dropout dropout is a regularization te technique that is used to reduce overfitting in convolution neural network and when we are training a convolution neural network it so happens it gets overfitted to the training data and may not be able to generalize uh, uh, and make classifications on unseen data like the test data to avoid overfitting of the model to the training data we will drop some neurons that is nothing but drop out we will drop out the neurons randomly model uh, this is a cnn architecture here as you can see there are number of filters i have used eight eight filters of size 5 cross 5 in the first layer convolution layer and then 16 filters in the second convolution layer and 120 filters of dimensions 5 cross 5 in the third convolution layer as i already said the activation function is relu 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 activation rectified linear units activation function makes all the negative values whatever negative values we are getting as zero and it won't make any changes to the positive values coming to the max pool layer we have used a two cross two filter in max pooling okay and a dropout of 0.25 means 25% of the neurons are dropped randomly and uh, as you can see three convolution layers uh, um, and i mean convolution layer first convolution layer then relu then max pooling second convolution layer relu and then max pooling third convolution layer and then flat, uh, dropout dropout of 0.25 then the model is flattened that is made into one dimensional vector and a fully connected layer what is a fully connected layer means each neuron is connected to every other neuron it is also called as a dense layer and of 128 units and an output layer so an output uh, uh, there is there is an dropout of 50% between the fully connected layer and the output layer let me show you the architecture my proposed architecture as you can see this is an input layer this is my first convolution layer plus relu and this is my max pooling layer this is my second convolution layer then max pooling layer third convolution layer then flatten 
then this is my fully connected layer and this is my output layer in between this fully connected layer and the output layer i am putting a dropout of 50% every neural network uh, uh, needs an error function uh, like uh, for example uh, my neural network has trained so far and uh, on the training images and if it is the trained neural network so far is giving me a prediction that the image the training image belongs to sad emotion but actual emotion is surprise then an error has occurred error in prediction has occurred this error is represented by a function here uh, we use a cross entropy loss function to represent the error that is error is nothing but the absolute difference between our prediction and the actual value so in order to reduce the error there must be some optimization that we apply and uh, uh, optimization is applied in uh, uh, changing the weights of the neural network so here we have used adam optimizer adam stands for adaptive moment estimation optimizer to reduce the uh, to change the parameters or the weights of the neural network such that the difference between the actual value and the predicted value is reduced coming to the performance evaluation our model uh, uh, proposed model has achieved an accuracy of 99.3% in um, predicting the emotions of 148 ck plus test images as you can see in the figure this is a confusion matrix obtained here an represents anger co means contempt di means disgust fe means fear ha means happy sa means sad and surprise and as you can see there are, there is only one misclassification here okay the true label is sad while as my uh, proposed model has predicted it as surprise this is the only misclassification these are some of the results the true label of this picture is angry and uh, my predicted uh, my model my proposed model has predicted it as angry 86% as you can see in any expression facial expression is mixed it 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 contains two or more expressions naturally every human being expresses two or more expressions it is very difficult to detect uh, uh, the emotion accurately what is the expression at the present moment so it will give you the probability that the expression this phase input phase belongs to angry is 86% contempt is 3% fear is 9% and so on as you can see this is the probability 9 uh, like a 86% it is saying that this image is an belongs to angry expression similarly i have one more result true label is angry it is my proposed model is predicting this image uh, per, the person is angry 98% okay then the conclusion is we have performed facial expression classification on images in uh, japanese female facial expression database and ck plus data set and we proposed a 10 layer cnn it is giving an accuracy of 78% and 99.3% on test images of both the data sets the accuracy of jfa data set is less because very few images are used for training there are only 2 and 3 images that i have used for training so in the as a part of the feature work i want to use more number of images for training my cnn model or i i want to augment the data so that uh, augment it by uh, chain scaling making rotations to the existing image so that i will have a large database to train my cnn model these are the references of which uh, this is uh, this reference belongs to the japanese female facial expression data set and this reference belongs to cohen canada's data set that i have used thank you